Good morning, Splash. Happy Easter. Good morning, Boo. Happy Easter. Good morning, Simba. Happy Easter. Good morning, Stella. Happy Easter. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Look what I found this morning. Simba left a pom-pom on this plate. I had put a little bit of canned food on this plate last night because the cats wanted to taste some of the food I was giving to Hydrox and Ditto. And I woke up this morning and look, there's a pom-pom on it. This is Simba's way of saying Happy Easter. He says the pom-pom reminds him of an Easter egg. Last night, I gave the cats some wrapping paper to play with so they had a good time with it. And They've been uh, chasing some wrapping paper balls around and they were laying on this paper and kind of playing with the wand toy and you could see they had a good time. Look at what the cats are getting for Easter this year. Look at this feather boa. This feather boa is six feet long. And look at all of the colorful feathers. Isn't this an awesome boa? I got this at the new Hobby Lobby that they opened up around here. I thought the cats would like it. Boo loves feathers. So he's probably going to pluck every feather off of this boa. The other boas that the cats have uh, don't have feathers like this. They have like the smaller, finer feathers. It looks like Simba's wanting to get comfortable in the boa. Maybe I'll wrap it around him and see how he looks. Doesn't Simba look cute in his feathers? Hello, Simba. It's a very pretty Easter coat you have on. Where's your Easter bonnet? Simba has decided to eat the feathers. Oh, look who's visiting us today. It's Easter Bunny Simba. Hello, Easter Bunny Simba. Simba says he don't want to be an Easter Bunny today. This is how Boo likes to play, on a scratch and roll with his arch. He's already starting to pluck some feathers out. Splash likes them too. Here's Stella. Stella loves them. Look at the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny came to visit. Look at that. The Easter Bunny is watching bugs outside of the window. Oh, Easter Bunny don't want to wear a hat. Look at me. Look at me, Easter Bunny. Look at Easter Bunny Simba. Simba, look here. Put your head up. Easter Bunny, you're so cute, Easter Bunny. 
Simba's an Easter bunny and he's purring. Boo says he wants to play with the uh, boa again. Okay, Boo. Okay, ready? Come here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Do you think Boo would like to wear the boa? And the cat's got another Easter gift. This is a Kong Connects. And this is a grooming thing. I don't even know what you call it. It says it fits under any household door. Satisfies a cat's natural grooming instincts. Self-grooming combs help boost circulation. Easy to move from door to door, offering variety. Oh, okay, so this is like a self-grooming device. And it's shaped like a cat. When I saw this, I thought the cats would love it because they love the little cat it self-groomers that you put on a corner. So I'm hoping they like this also. It's much bigger and I think Boo might really like it. So I got this at Tractor Supply. That's where I found it. I'll also put a link to this item on Amazon in the description below this video. Oh, here's Boo. He's going to check it out. Is he going to rub on it before I even get it out of the packaging? He's smelling it. Smell okay, Boo? Okay? He's covered in feathers. Ooh, you're covered in feathers. So here's the back of it. It says the Kong Connects Kitty Comber. Oh, it's a kitty comber. Provides a self-grooming experience for cats while fulfilling their natural grooming instincts. Rubbing back and forth across the Kong Connects Kitty Comber, cats unleash a blissful massage that answer cats' natural grooming instincts. The Kitty Comber also features a freestanding snap-together doorstop that is easy to remove from door to door. Offering a varied experience. Sprinkle Kong North American Premium Catnip included in the Catnip Channel to open the door to total kitty delight. For more information or to view the entire Kong cat line, please visit kongcompany.com. Important. Inspect products frequently. Supervise use only. Remove all packaging. Discontinue use if damaged. And it also has it in French. And then it says insert bottom of cat shape comber into slot of base. Push comber down until it securely connects to base. Open front perforated door and shake a portion of Kong North American Premium Catnip provided into cavity, then reclose. Slide comber under any household door. Okay, so here are the pieces. So here's the catnip that they provide. And then here's the cat comber. And then here's the base. It's going to be interesting to see how this fits under a door. Okay, and there it is, it's standing up. It was easy to push it into the slot base. I'm gonna add some catnip to the bottom. This front little door is kind of hard to get open. I had to pry it open with scissors. And there's Simba, he's already interested in the bag of catnip, what's left of it. What do you think, Simba, you like it? You like it, boo? What is that about, Simba? What's going on, Simba? What is going on there, Simba? You and Boo need to get along, okay? Be nice to each other. What do you think? What do you think, Boo? You like it? You're gonna use it? Okay, here it is. I put it under the door to Boo's room because it's good to have something to keep this door open. I was just thinking earlier that it would be nice to have a door stop here. Boo's checking it out. Hello, Boo. It's gonna take them some time to get used to this. I don't expect them to use it right away but hopefully over time they will use it. 
There's feathers all over the place. Here's Stella. Stella said she'd rather just sit on the packaging. Still says, Happy Easter, everybody. She hopes you have a wonderful day full of sunshine and feather boas. I just put the touch feeders out for the cats. So this is the one that Stella likes, and for some reason Boo's trying to figure it out, which is fine. It would be good if Boo figured it out. And here's the triple feeder that Boo likes. He knocked it over. As soon as he saw it, he was so excited he knocked it over. So I put it back up. And Stella's been sitting by it. Maybe she's going to figure it out. Boo's trying to use some brute force on this one. I just filled up their automatic feeders. So for dinner tonight, they're having one of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. And then they're having a scoop of the homemade raw food. Both of them are frozen right now with a little bit of crunchies. And that's in here. Uh, this is breakfast tomorrow. Some of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Freeze-Dried Bites along with crunchies. The same thing for dinner tomorrow. And then for breakfast the next day, there's just a little bit of crunchies. I should be back before breakfast the next day. This is just in case... I decide to stay an extra day. Um, so that is what they're having. I have to program these now. It's 12 p.m. and look at what's going on here. Both Stella and Boo are hanging out in the cat beds by the window. The window is open just a little bit. I don't know what they're watching. And it's really bright outside. The sun came out, so sorry for all the brightness. So today will be the first time that I'm leaving these crunchy feeders out while I will be away. It'll be interesting to see uh, where they are when I get back and how full they are. I really expect them to be empty when I get back, but I might be surprised. This is the one that Boo likes. I did not fill them totally, just in case the cats like uh, binge on them. But I figure since it does take work to get them out, um, hopefully they won't eat too many too fast. And it'll give them something to do, and I'm hoping they don't fight. Hello, Marty. Happy Easter, Marty. How are you doing, Marty? There's a bee buzzing around. Can you hear the bee? It's really loud. It's a big bumblebee. The cats got an Easter present from their grandparents. They're smelling it. Sim is rubbing against it. Here's the card or the tag. It says Happy Easter Simba, Stella, Boo, Splash, Hijacks, and Ditto. This is from Grandma and Grandpa. Can we get this open or are we going to have to cut it? Sim says he approves. Sim says he approves of it. It's his. He's claiming it. Go. What is that? Simba, what do you think it is, Simba? What do you think it is, Simba? Let's open it. It's a nice lavender color. Look what you got, Simba. You got a whole bunch of plates. Yeah. You got 300 paper plates, Simba. That's going to last a long time. You guys are going to have plenty of plates to eat on. And that means I get to do a whole lot less dishes. The reason why I feed the cats on paper plates is because it saves me a lot of time having to wash dishes. And it saves my hands also because I get dishpan hands. So let's see. We go through about 10 plates a day it's four for breakfast four for dinner that's eight but then i also feed hydrox and ditto and on average 
on average it's two plates a day. Sometimes it's four plates a day, sometimes it's zero plates a day, whether they're around or hungry. Uh, so we're going to say on average it's two plates a day. So we go through about 10 plates a day. And 10 into 300 means 30. So 300 plates will last us 30 days, Simba. That's a whole month's supply. That's awesome. Say thank you very much, Grandma and Grandpa. Simba says he wishes it was something a little more fun. But it's fun for me, and that's what counts. It is 4.42 p.m. and there's Hydrox and there's Ditto. And they're eating some food by the back door. They're on their second can of food. There is some rain on the way. I don't know if, we, if we're actually gonna get it or not. Um, it's like a light band of rain on the uh, weather radar. So they're really hungry. Maybe they sense that because normally before a storm comes, they have a really big appetite. So, uh, that's what's going on with Hydrox and Ditto. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.